Hi, Mark from Broad Lane Leisure and today I'm going to show you the process that you need to go through to hitch your caravan to your car. There are some pre-checks that you will have needed to do before you actually get to this point. Uh, obviously we're presupposing that you've lifted up your corner steadies and your jockey wheel is down. We also need to check the torque on your wheel bolts. On this particular caravan that needs to be 130 newton meters. So with your torque wrench, set it to 130 and then approach the wheel. And push on the torque wrench until it clicks. You complete that process for every one of your uh, wheel nuts. You also should really check your nose weight. Now your car will come with a maximum nose weight that can be carried on the tow ball and your caravan will also have a maximum nose weight. You need to know the lower of those two figures because that is your lowest common denominator. You can use one of these Milenko nose weight measures to make sure that you've got the right nose weight on the front of the caravan. Very, very easy to do. You lay the bottom onto a flat surface, it goes underneath the hitch and you lower the caravan down onto it until the jockey wheel is lifted up in the air and then you can read off on the reading how heavy it is. Obviously, if you've got too much weight on the nose, you need to move, move things around a little bit. So, we'll assume that that has all gone smoothly and we'll move on to the actual hitching up process. So, we have got a hitch lock on this particular caravan and most of them are very, very similar. So it's a case of inserting the key, twisting and removing the hitch lock. And now the caravan is ready for us to marry up to the car. So you can wind the jockey wheel so that the hitch is higher than the ball on your car. You can move your car to the caravan, or if you are confident and you've got some help, you can move the caravan to the car. So with some assistance, I now have the, um, the hitch over my tow ball. I'm going to lift up this handle, and it will click and it will hold itself up. Now, very simply, you need to make sure that the hitch head stabiliser is up, the handle is up. And then you can use your jockey wheel to lower it down onto the car's tow ball. You will need to let the brake off probably. And then continue to lower until this handle does that. Um, that means that it has engaged. Now to make doubly certain at this point, reverse your movement on the jockey wheel and lift the caravan up slightly. You're not aiming to pick the car up off the road but you are aiming to make sure that it lifts slightly to make sure there's a good engagement there. In this case, there is. So we can proceed with removing the jockey wheel. So, wind it all of the way down. Up, oh, even. There's a red handle on the side here that we release and that will let the whole assembly go down so that I can see what I'm doing here. As the post comes down at the bottom towards the wheel, you'll notice there's a cutout. See it probably there or okay, so the cutout here, and you want to get this bar into that cutout. So that is stowed there. With the wheel in the backwards position, you can then lift the whole assembly up so that the wheel disappears inside this housing. Tighten up this locking bar on the side, and that needs to be good and tight. Okay, so the next point is to attach the breakaway cable. Now, this is a carabiner type breakaway cable. It's uh, on all of the very new bands. Um, if you haven't got the carabiner type, if you've got the clip type, you must not attach it to any eyelet that is uh, built into the car to accommodate a carabiner. What you will need to do in that case is hook it around and pull it tight. Now, it won't hurt doing that with a carabiner, but if you try and use the other clip directly onto the car, 
it won't have the strength to hold should your caravan break away. And as the name suggests, if your caravan does break away from the car, that breakaway cable will apply the handbrake for you. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to push the hitch head stabiliser down. Now, as we push it down, you'll notice that there's a little button here and it will raise slightly to show a green collar. So there's a green collar under there, that means that it is fully engaged. It's also a check to make sure that your caravan is correctly positioned on the car. Um, finally, for here, we have um, the electric power. Now, I'm just going to get a little tool to show you, uh, should you have any problem with this part. So, um, so what you'll be doing with this is you will be um, attaching the power cable to the car's receiver and then as it connects and engages it will turn through 90 degrees. Sometimes that doesn't happen because the pins become slightly misaligned. That is not a major problem. You will be supplied with one of these caps and if you haven't got one they're very very cheap from any caravan accessory shop. But literally you will put the cap onto the onto the pins like so and remove it and that will line up the pins perfectly so you don't need to do that every time it's just if you have a problem now in attaching your power cable you do not want to have cable running on the floor your wear holes in your cable so I tend to just turn it a couple of times so that there's some tension in the cable and then go down and attach it. Now you will hear straight away that that is engaged. This caravan's got ATC fitted. That green flashing light denotes that the ATC is now active. That confirms that I have got my power cable in exactly the right place and everything is working. Before you tow away, obviously you will have checked your tyre pressures and you will also check your lights to make sure that everything is as it should be. And then, just before you pull away, the last thing you need to do is to run through a quick five point check. Is your jockey wheel secure at the top? Is the handle tight to stop your jockey wheel coming down? Is your handbrake off? Is your hitch head stabiliser down? And are your cables attached, i.e. the breakaway and the power cable? As long as that is all in order, you should be good to commence your journey.